Hi, welcome. This is Dan Altman with Marine Max in Jupiter, Florida. Today I want to take you through a brand new model. It is the new Galleon 2024 500 Fly. Um, so this will be a, a great introduction to see the next model is coming out. Um, starting with the whole sides here, you can see a new window design in the boat. So we get a lot more window space, a lot more light coming in, and it, it profiles the new styling with Galleon. Um, you'll see on the other side we have a balcony down, but this balcony comes all the way down. And then now we also have a boarding door. So that's a nice feature for fixed docks that are in the Bahamas, also in the States, so you can board easy. So that's a really nice feature. We do have um, your rub rails, stainless steel rub rails. So as you dock, come in and out, you're not doing any damage to the boat. And then a new feature too on the new galleons is the glass is on the balcony. So when you lower it down, you actually see down through the water. So on the side here, this would be our master stateroom. So massive window space. And then forward we have the master head and then the VIP on, on up to the bow. The other side on the starboard side would be the third stateroom with the bumper. And you'll see that in a couple minutes. So we'll come to the transom. So the 500 Galleon flybridge has a hydraulic swim platform. Uh, this swim platform will hold 1,320 pounds, so just over 1,300 pounds, which will exceed most tenders that can fit on this boat. So uh, you can pick out your tender, whether it be jet, a jet ski, or a uh, outboard tender. As you lower it in the water, we have a staircase, so it makes for easy boarding up and down with this platform down in the water, which allows you to use it for swimming and diving on and off. So it makes it nice and easy for the family to get on. Um, entertainment is what Galleon's about. So we put our barbecue, this is an option, here on the transom. So it's away from under a cover, it's away from the galley, it's away from the, the in interior of the boat so you don't have any smoke or any heat going in there. So barbecue here, it's a Kenya electric grill. These are made in America. It's got a ceramic top and an easy pan you can buy from Publix or any grocery store. Really easy feature. We have, um, this is a Vita Gray exterior, cloth fabric. It's an extra performance fabric. So that is on all the uh, extra components of the boat. We'll take you through all that. And then this pod here, I'm gonna step up and show you, this pod will swing around. So this is an option. So we can turn this around. So you can sit facing backwards if you like. So that's a really neat feature. Usable, especially when you're out in the Bahamas or at the sandbar here locally. You just wanna see what the family's doing. Have the tender in the water, everybody's swimming, just having a good time. And then when you get ready to go, just swing it back around. And just lock it in. It's a simple lock mechanism. It's all done by hand. So there's no, nothing to break, no electric mechanisms to break. Um, that's really nice. Uh, table is a high-low table. Sink it down, we have a cushion that goes on top, makes this a nice sunbed. We talked about the balcony. So port and starboard side balconies. There's safety rails that come with this. On the other side off of the galley, we have two bar stools that will attach so you can have a nice conversation inside and out. And I'll show you how this opens up in just a second. Going forward to the bow, got nice wide walkways so we can get up there. We'll take you to the bow in a few minutes. Um, but I just want to show you high rails, easy walkways, and then another boarding gate through the rails up towards the front. So you have a lower boarding gate in the back and a higher board gate in the front. So it makes it uh, easy and user friendly for boarding. Um, this is one of the windows that will open up. I'll show you that in a minute. And we'll take a step inside now. So something to mention as we come around, safety is a great aspect of Galleon. 
So we've got safety rails all around. Speaking of the rails, Galleon is a vertically integrated company. So they mill and manufacture all the stainless. They buy the raw trees and they mill and manufacture. They have a milling plant for all the wood, the teak wood, and then interior wood as well. So they control the process and control the quality and the timeline that is built. Um, so it's, it's uh, as much as they can and most of the components are in-house with vertical integration. So this is pretty cool. We'll open this up. So both sides will open. This swings forward and back to make the bed. And then you can flip this down and have a seat. I'll leave it in this position now. But you can sit facing in or facing out. This is across from the galley, so you can entertain off the galley. And opening this side up, you get a safety lock there. On this side, of course, that's at the dock, but if we lower the balcony down, a couple bar stools out there. And this has got a, another stone um, leaf that flips up and makes a, a nice um, you know, bar stool setup with extra counter space. So you can entertain out of this galley. Um, in the galley, of course, you have your refrigeration. You have more refrigerator and freezer space. We also have refrigeration freezer space upstairs. And then sets of drawers. And then deep storage as well. Um, up top, they take advantage of as much storage space as they can throughout. And even for the sink, it's a stainless steel double tub sink with a wood top and doubles the cutting board. Uh, induction stovetop. So this is also Kenya, same manufacturer as the barbecue grill in the back. Four burner induction top. And then we have um, a Samsung oven. So it's a microwave and oven on this boat. Um, for a 50 footer, this is a large galley, very usable galley, and a great entertaining galley. So um, coming forward, this would be your salon area, which doubles as an inside dinette. I'll show you that. Um, bringing up the TV here, it's on a high low. A lot of people really don't use the TV that much, but it gets it out of the way when you're out having fun. You kind of want to disconnect from the boat, right? So um, it allows you to do that, or you can pop it up and watch the games. So. The seating is quite comfortable, so it's a relaxed seating. This is a high-low table. If you need to convert this to a bed, you can. We have a, um, a cushion that goes on top, just drops down, you can convert it to a bed or a lounger. And in the evenings, you can put a movie on and just lounge around with the family. And you notice looking through, the window space is massive on this boat. So great visibility. These are tinted windows. It keeps a lot of the sun out, but a lot of the, uh, the light coming in and visibility is phenomenal. This chair also swivels, so you can not use it as a helm all the time, you swivel it and use it as uh, entertaining. <laughs> the helm is configured as a owner run boat. So double seats here, families here, you don't feel like you're hired help, you know, which is nice. And you can run your own boat. So it's quite easy to run this vessel We've done um, a, uh, a navigation comfort uh, captain type of packages on the boat. So we do a bow and stern thruster. So you can maneuver the boat, you can twist it, or you can make it go one way or the other. And then you have your Volvo. This is a D11 Volvos. Um, it really pushes this boat to a, a comfortable uh, cruising speed with low fuel consumption, or you can get up and go. This boat will top out at like 31, 32 knots and you can do a high cruise, fast cruise at 29 to 30 knots. At that fast cruise, you're burning about 62 gallons an hour. At more of a moderate cruise, which most people do around 21, 22 knots, you're only burning about 43 gallons an hour. So that's a, a very um, economical vessel of this size. The vessel's also equipped with a Sea Keeper gyro stabilizer. 
So SeaKeeper has some of the best service in America, also into the Bahamas and the Caribbean. So it makes it easy to keep a service. It's a, a brand name now. So we're using it on this vessel. And um, so it is gyro stabilized, which will eliminate the left and right roll, the port starboard roll in the boat while you're at rest and also while you're underway at speed. Um, going into the navigation, we have upgraded screens. The Big Ray Marines, these are 19 inch screens. Um, previous models, you can only get the small screens. So you can see, I and mean, it just works like an iPad. So you can pick a chart, radar, a dashboard. We'll go into that right now. So this goes into the dashboard, which is for the galleon itself. You can show a picture of the boat. We can go into a night modes, uh, different uh, anchoring mode with our lighting. Underwater lights come on here. Our pumps, so the bilge pumps come on through here. Fresh water also. And we have an equipment page, which is controlling like windshield wipers, uh, your engine blowers, and also your anchor. Um, speaking of windshield wipers, it's a one-piece windshield board here. It's a great visibility. You now, the, the biggest complaint that some people have on other brands, brands, excuse me, is the visibility. So this is a comfortable, visible boat while you're driving. I can see clearly over the dash. And then even with these backrests up on the bow, those will fold down. I can still have visibility with them up. Uh, we have control through these screens, as I was mentioning. You can control both windows. Like this window comes all the way up and down. It's on the starboard side and port side, which is fantastic for when you're docking. If you want to dock from down here, we have a docking station upstairs which is a lot easier to dock from because you've got better visibility. However, with this window down, I can have a conversation with my crew to help me dock. So that's a, that's a nice feature. And then uh, also for airflow, if you just wanted to enjoy um, the day without air conditioning on or just open up the boat. So quite nice there. Um, on the dash, before I leave, we're, we have an autopilot. We have air conditioning vents. This is your Volvo screen. So it tells you all the functions of the two Volvos. Um, this boat also has a diesel generator. And then electric steering. So Optimus steering is electric. So the rudders turn on electric actuator. So it changes the input from the steering wheel. Um, faster the boat goes, the slower it'll steer. So you want more um, comfort and safety. And then slower speeds, we can adjust so the rudders turn quicker without more input. So that's a great feature. It's been out for a couple of years. We use it in Galleon for several years now. Um, the interior colors, this is a eucalyptus matte wood. And they also call the interior a uh, Vita gray with white as well. So all the ceilings and the walls are in the, the Vita White, which is the Alcantara material. If you look at high-end cars, you'll see this on the dash. It's, uh, it wears very well because it's stain resistant and it doesn't hold moisture. That's why it's a great product for the marine environment. So, um, we'll head down to the staterooms. This is a three stateroom, two bath boat. So we'll go check it out. As we come down, the stairs are carpeted and a nice landing for all the staterooms. So I'll take you in the master. Before I take you in there, if you look at the woodwork, so Galleon is built in Gdansk, Poland, and they're known for their craftsmanship, their history of woodworking, um, and just that region of the world is as incredible yacht builders. The boats, or the doors, they shut flush and tight. There's also gasketed all around every single door. And that's important when you're running the boat, but you don't hear any creaking or rattling when you're running this boat. And then when you're living on the boat, it eliminates noise between the staterooms. In addition, every floor hatch has a gasket with it as well. And I'll show you that. So this is gasketed floor hatches. Again, eliminates vibration and eliminates noise, which is important those little features but it goes a long way so coming into the master directly in you have the master bath or master head um, 
the toilet is outside the shower, it's not a wet head, then you have a really nice shower. Then you'll see beautiful stonework. It's a vacuum flush head, so it's fresh water head system. And I'll step in the shower, because that's important for most people. So showers in the back of this compartment. And you can see even with the door closed, I have plenty of room to move around. It's a Carrera stone on all the walls. And I have adjustable shower one, up or down. Hot and cold water, of course. And then you have a seat in here. And beautiful window space, you get a lot of natural light. Of course, with the blinds for privacy. And then you have medicine cabinet at the top. And then storage underneath the vanity. They did uh, an opening window in the heads. So you can get some ventilation in there as well. I'll step out and we'll go into the master uh, stateroom. So this is a full beam midship master on this 50 fly. Uh, I think it's laid out quite well. Um, we've learned from previous models what customer input um, to make changes. We did a, a nice big closet. So we actually put the carpets, we want to say those brand new boats, we've never put the carpets out. These will lay on top of the wood floors up on the salon and the galley area. But you got shelves in here, you have a hanging locker, we put a light here on the, on the rod. Just really nice space. Television, and below the television is a washer and dryer. So this is a combo washer and dryer. It's a commonly used, blended with uh, with the marine environment. So it's nice to have that for longer trips. Great dresser space. So you can see really deep storage. You can load this boat up and live on it for a month quite easily. Massive window space. I've got the blinds on this one lowered and on the other side, on the, which is the port side, the blinds are up. And on this port side, you can see we have a nice vanity. So it is a makeup vanity. Um, it's got a lighted mirror. It's got a space to put um, cosmetics and whatnot. So that's a great space. In addition to that, is when you lower this, if you happen to do some work on the boat, lowering it down, there's a power outlet underneath. So you can plug in your laptop and have a beautiful view and have your quiet space with the family still on the boat. So you can take some calls and still do some work while you're on the boat. More storage on the back there, on the, um, the end tables. And then all this is backlit. So the appointments throughout is just quite nice. And even every available space to put storage. This is um, it's a custom queen. So custom the cut corners here. And just a comfortable bed walk around easy to make. So that's our master stateroom on this boat. And next I'm going to take you up to the VIP, which is all the way in the bow. So the VIP has a great area to dress, has a closet space on the starboard side. It's behind the door here. Um, also behind the door, when you close the door, there's a television that's equipped. Um, you're looking at all the storage space. So both sides have opening gunnel space, opening storage space, and the cabinets there. And this is also a custom queen. It's tapered in the bow and tapered in also the aft portion of this bed. But it does have steps. So we can step up in the bed quite easily. And then light switches and power outlets. And then we do have USB plugs. And again, Galleon is using every available storage space that they can. Above us is wonderful glass space. So it lets a lot of natural light in here. We've got shades for nighttime. And then we have an emergency escape hatch, just in case um, you need to get out. So that's right above the bed now. 
You can also get ventilation through that window. This is attached to a day head, which is shared with the third stateroom. So we have a shower, nice stonework. The head's more compact. We have the, the head and the shower all together. There's storage space in the shower. There's storage space here. Both mirrors open. There's cabinet space below. And again, we have our opening window for ventilation. So it's still great space. And I'll pop in the shower here. And you can see it's still ample enough space to take a shower, which is nice. The flooring is a synthetic flooring. Upgraded to, um, to stay clean and nice uh, for the longevity of the boat. So they look at that a lot. I'm gonna go through this way. We have a full, full length mirror on the back of this um, door. And then going into the third stateroom. It's a bunk room. So two adults could sleep in here. These are long beds. So even you know someone that's six feet tall or a little taller can sleep in here easily. Above and below bunks, the lower bunk's a little wider. And you have a large closet space in here. I'll open that so you can see with shelving at the bottom. The very bottom is also our AC ventilation. So this has its own AC control. And then we have more storage here. There's another storage pocket in the back. So it, um, in this stateroom also, we have a lot of storage. So there's three storage cabinets in the gunnels. All gunnels up in, the, in the top here. So there's two here and there's also one in the back. Um, so as a 50 foot vessel, I don't know of another boat that has more storage in its third stateroom than this boat. In addition, like I'm 6'1 in the height down here, you have plenty of headroom. So that's uh, ample space for uh, a American type of customer, is what we're looking for in this boat. So, and then you'll see a eucalyptus mat and our uh, Lita White Al Alcantara. So this absorbs a lot of sound as well. So it's just nice and quiet throughout and just a very rich feel and very rich appointments. So now we're gonna go back up to um, our main deck and then we'll go up to the uh, flybridge deck now. Now we're up on the flybridge of the 50 Galleon. I'll take you through some of the appointments up here. Um, very well laid out boat. Um, Anna's standing in the sun. Um, there's a seat that curves around. You'll see that in just a minute. And you come underneath this hard top with our barbecue grill and our summer kitchen. So this is the second barbecue on the boat. So now the Kenya barbecue our sink and ice maker. So commercial style ice maker. And then our fridge is a drawer fridge located underneath the seat. So that holds uh, sodas and, and uh, lunch meats and hamburgers and lobster and whatever you have. This will fold down to make nice counter space. Like so. So and it protects the summer kitchen, then we have some storage. Um, galleon again is about safety, so coming up the teak steps from the cockpit, we have a safety door, and it is safe enough to walk on. Um, I don't recommend it because you can hurt the seals over time, but it's there for safety, so it's, it's, it's going to hold your weight. Also we have railing around, again galleon makes the railing. They mill and manufacture the teak, and they control the process throughout. Um, the table, it expands open. So it's got leaves that pull out and expands open. And then this is a flip-flop backrest, so it'll go the other way, and we can enjoy dining up here on Fresco style outside up on the flybridge. As we're cruising around, so owner of the boat's driving, or one of the crew members, family members is driving the boat. There's a room for two people there and we're lounging with the, uh, the owner and as he moves around the boat. What I like about this bridge is one, we're in line with 
the staircase coming up from the swim platform and the cockpit. So I can stand here and I can see my swim platform easily just from this angle. I can also look over the side and see all up and down the side of the boat. So docking is very easy on this boat because you've got great sight lines. It's got plenty of power with these Volvo D11 diesels. So you've got the power at your fingertips and then you've got the maneuverability with the balance turn thruster. We have full repeaters up here. This is just a sun cover for our autopilot. So full repeaters with Ray Marine, the Volvo, our autopilot, using Apollo stereo. Um, it's a nice feature, so it's gonna have good tunes on the boat as well. What's great about up here is you've got great visibility, you've got great breeze in your face, and then part of the family wants to lay out, so they can lay out right there, throw some nice pillows up there. So you've got sun and also you have shade all in one area. The, um, the hard top on this boat is carbon fiber, so it's very lightweight. We can go bigger spaces, lighter weight. It weighs about 30% less than, than uh, fiberglass. And you see some excellent lighting in it. So those are dimmable lights. Beautiful accents throughout. And um, I like it because it is hard, especially because you want to get away from the sun as much as you can, uh, especially in Florida. But um, easy to run boat, great bridge access, couple spaces, you got sun bed space, you have lounging space, and you have a dining space on the boat with barbecue. So that rounds out our fly bridge. Next, we're gonna go back down to the cockpit, up on the bow. So we're up on the bow area of this 500 fly bridge. Uh, I'd like to show you the great usable space on this boat. So we have backrests that fold out of each seat. You can see this one's up here. We have a table that comes with the boat. So we can all lounge up here on a slow cruise in, uh, in calm water or while we're anchored up and hanging out. And when you want to go out, you just simply open this up and fold your backrest down and that locks it in. We do have covers for all the extra cushions, keeps them nice and dry and clean. This is your ceiling space for your VIP. So you can't really see through it from this angle, but you can see up. Um, and then of course we have our ground tackle area. So our anchor, we have a, a foot pedals here, also controls at the dash for raising and lowering your anchor. And I'll open this for you. So you can see this is a all chain windlass. So we upgraded all chain. And then we have a freshwater bib here. And just in case, if you lose um, power to the anchor windlass, just pull out your, your handle, release your clutch, and just raise it up by hand. So we think of things that just in case that happens. I'll shut this back down. They did the double row rails with your bow railing. Give it a lot more strength. It's a lot more beautiful versus just having a safety wire and then our spotlight, of course. So the bow's got a, a very progressive V shape, so it slices through the water really nice. It's designed for the Baltic Sea, which is quite rough up there. So here in our Florida waters, going to the Bahamas, it's easy for these boats on the Galleon brand. So just coming off the bow and our, our nice spacious gunnels to come back with the safety rails all along, um, this is the other side of the galley I mentioned. We just put our balcony down, it's an electric balcony, just push button. And this is what I'm talking about, the countertop extends out. And then see the two holes in the floor. We have bar stools that come with this boat. So it's an angle bar stool. We can sit here and enjoy conversation while we're having fellowship here at the galley. Um, this just simply goes down and then the door will shut so to get underway. Um, walk back to the, the balcony here. Another neat feature is when you're mooring the boat against the dock, we have a halson for your lines to come up to the, the custom-made cleat made by Galleon. And then the tag line, so any extra line you just throw right in there. So it gets it out of the way, keeps it really clean, 
just orderly on your yacht um, for your power cable it's a 50 amp power cable it is is on a shore power reel so it's a glen denning reel it'll go in and out and your button is right here to bring that in and out the garage hatch is here and also your swim platform the all controls are right here this is um great storage space right in the middle of the cockpit so this is a tub that's insulated the engine room's below it so you can see the two bar stools i've got some canvas storage in here because there's canvas covers for the entire exterior of the boat and also mesh black um, covers for all the windshields for storage so that's just a great storage space it's plumbed and drained and then we have a near flush threshold coming in with classification drainage as well. Um, I'll show you how to bring the balcony up real quick. So you push the active button and then just bring it up and it'll start coming up. Once it's all the way up, there's two manual locks. So you don't have a fear of it coming down when you're underway. And then with this new model, the, um, the boarding doors on the side is just a, a big upgrade, especially in the Bahamas, um, and also fixed stock boarding in the States. So that's just a great feature, very usable. I think it simply clips in. So these locks, you slide them over, and you're locked in, okay? So that'll conclude our tour of this galleon 2024 galleon 500 fly again my name is dan altman i welcome you to give me a call here at the jupiter store for marine max and uh happy to talk to you about our galleon product thank you